We continue working developing news on a massive 8.1 magnitude earthquake in southern Mexico, the biggest the country has seen in a century. Officials say the death toll has now risen to at least 58, and that number is expected to climb. U.S. Geological Survey recorded at least 20 aftershocks of magnitude 4.0 or greater within five hours after that main quake. That's right near the border of Guatemala. It struck just before midnight while many people were sleeping. An update now on a major security breach at Equifax. The FBI is now investigating after the company says hackers gained access to personal information belonging to 143 million Americans. The company just alerted consumers about that breach, which happened between mid-May and July. Addresses, social security numbers, and credit card numbers were all compromised during it. To see if you were impacted and to find out what steps you can take to protect yourself, head to our website, WPRI.com. Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, a lot to cover with Irma. We'll get to the storm in just a second. Start locally with uh, beautiful, tranquil weather. Fortunately, here in southern New England, the sunshine and some fair weather clouds. Beautiful down in Newport right now. Low humidity, dry, comfortable. Temperatures in the upper 60s to low 70s. 67 Newport, 74 Providence. Smithfield upper 60s and westerly coming in at 71. So these numbers reflective of... Well, at least early autumn, and it will cool off quite a bit during the overnight hours. So heading out on your Friday night, the weather looks fine. Light sweater or a light jacket for later tonight. Uh, patchy clouds mixing in with the sunshine right now. Some scattered showers upstate New York, Hudson Valley of New York, northern New England. These will fizzle out with the setting of the sun, so you can leave the umbrella at home heading out. as high pressure really going to control things for the next several days. Canadian high pressure tends to produce this time of year, you know, mild afternoon, you know, 70, 71 and then kind of chilly late nights with temps in the lower 50s. So this essentially means dry weather right through early next week. So your future cast for tonight, a cloud sun mix right now, but gradual clearing by 11 o'clock. The temperature at 60 late at night, heading down to the low 50s, waking up to sunshine tomorrow morning, cool and dry. 50s, low 50s at sunrise, th going through the 60s to eventually, well, not much higher than, say, 70, 71. So pretty comfortable by 3 o'clock in the afternoon, 71 degrees. Wish we had better news with the tropics. Boy, this is just incredible. Three hurricanes. Acadia getting ready to make landfall in Mexico. It's in the Gulf of Mexico, not a U.S. threat. We'll get to Irma in just a second. Jose is now a major hurricane winds of 150 miles per hour and it's threatening the northern leeward island this is the same island chain that was hit by irma several days ago the long-range forecast on jose it may turn back into the central atlantic so many many days to be looking at that but obviously the concern for the continental u.s and especially florida is uh, hurricane irma here is florida miami key west with the setting of the sun you can clearly see a well-defined eye category four hurricane winds of 155 but wouldn't surprise me if this makes landfall in south florida as a category five hurricane and i'll explain the reasons why in uh, just a second but still a well-organized powerful storm moving west at 12 it's about uh, 200 miles off the north coast of Cuba, so it's passing in between Cuba and the Bahamas and heading for uh, southern Florida. Uh, hurricane watches and warnings continue to be extended further to the north of Florida up to Sebastian Inlet. Uh, hurricane warnings continue uh, for the Bahamas and storm surge warnings for south Florida. The anticipation of flooding, not so much from rain, but from the ocean surge. And the reason why we think this storm may get stronger before landfall. It's getting ready to pass through a channel. This purple area represents warmer water, 86, 87 degrees, and that adds fuel to these storms. The warmer the ocean temperature, the warmer the waters, the stronger sometimes these storms, storms can get. Getting real close, take a look at the forecast track. It's actually shifted more to the west. Category 5 storm Sunday morning near Key West, actually making landfall on the southwest side of the state, but the entire peninsula will have a high-impact weather as it moves to the north and near Tampa Monday, early Monday morning, then it weakens to a tropical storm across uh, the southeastern U.S. by Wednesday. Here is southern New England, so this is obviously good news for us. We could see some remnant moisture from the storm 
towards the end of next week. So we are just kind of fallish and dry through Tuesday. Any potential remnant moisture, and at this point, it wouldn't be too significant, uh, would be Wednesday at 74, and then drying back out both Thursday and Friday. That's not to say we should completely ignore the storm here in southern New England, but uh, the chances of, the, of, the, of anything directly impacting us at this point uh, appear to be low. But uh, Florida bracing for a direct hit from really a, a catastrophic hurricane. It's just, you know, in all the years of, you know, forecasting these storms, these hurricanes, to have a season like this, especially the last two weeks, is unprecedented. Incredible. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Tony.